Well, a nice crisp sunny day, probably 50 something. Ha. Uh, so we are more perimeter fortification today. I had originally set these two wood posts here for a 12 foot gate when I installed the fence, but uh, you know, the double gates was a last minute design change. And so I just kind of rolled with the fencing on here, but it is definitely a breach point. No, no, no. So after today, I'll gate here. Check it out. And so you see I got fence, but it's just wire tied around. And so what I just gotta do is come to this side and just cut it. As close as I can. I should be able to get it right about here. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh cool. Oh, I did that post pretty good all right too. Hey, I mean, so the level ain't right because the ground slopes. So I'm not terribly concerned about that little corner section there, but I think I like this orientation. I'm gonna have the gate open inside the property. So I thought I'd put my hooks here on the property side, get a nice swing. And then so that spare piece of fence that was there, I'll cut that off. And that was this long, because these gates, obviously the dog can get right through there. So like on my front gates, I put that wire on it. So cool. I love it. It worked out pretty nice. That's real nice. That's tight. That's tighter than, the, I mean, the front ones are doubles, so, but that's tight. I mean, aside from bringing up the level here, uh, which you don't want to do, you know, you don't want to add to it. This is the way the ground is. It's been smushed. You know, if anything, you go down. So like, maybe I take that side down a little, I don't know. I'm going to, you know, it takes a minute. It's a permanent install. So showing you the steps all right and well take into account for the slope this is kind of how these are lining up uh, uh in uh, you know it needs to function so i've got it you see propped on a rock there one at the other side and it really it, it fits awesome like this like i just got that little gap there which you know I, the dog's not going through that i'm gonna put fence on here so i think we're pretty stoked i think now what i do is mark what you do is you put these mamma jammas in there like that and you put one this way and then you put your bottom one this way so they can't just come and snatch your gate right up you know what i mean you know what i mean so all right, uh, yeah, it's just a paddle bit action, but uh, I think I'm pretty stoked. The height's real nice. I mean, minimal clearance. Uh, the ground's pretty straight here. That This spot right here is a little high. I'll have to smash it down some, make the gate all the way. But uh, this is looking pretty cool. Uh, Gosh, all right. I suppose there is a different way I could do this, but I think I'm just digging this. I just need functionality, y'all. All righty, stay tuned. And so you just, oh, can't, I'm pretty nice over center here. It's hard to get right over it, but I uh, just want that to line up. So this, so I drilled the hole for a uh, half inch uh, and the bolt's roughly a little bigger than that, five eighths ish, you know? So you really want to seat nice and then you just put this, I used a, a double box wrench here and cause I, I gotta, you know, with the fence right here, you gotta change your position every time, but you just turn it in like that, you change your wrench. 
just make sure you're not putting downwards pressure. You want inwards, not downwards. You want to keep it level. You see, the head bends naturally, but so I'm gonna, a couple more turns. I mean, I, I could flush it all the way in. The post is fat enough. The wind's picking up. In the bottom one, I needed to make a little wrench trench. Ta -da. Fun never ends. Oh, hey, watch, look. Little high spot. Feels up decent. I'm stoked. I'm hugging the ground, like I said, not level to the top, level to the ground. Uh, these I sunk pretty good on the first try. I was thinking of maybe dialing this one in another turn. Maybe get it to stand a little more. But otherwise I'm stoked. All gates installed. Uh, securing the perimeter. Which is really, I'm just trying to keep the dog in. I'm not expecting four foot fence to keep out any of the predators in this area. I mean, I'm pretty sure the hawks are gonna fly over the four foot fence. Uh, Coyotes, I've heard them scaling eight foot, a mountain lion. Uh, they'll go six, seven, eight, same. So this is more for keeping my animals inside the property. Very well. We're gonna finish up this project and I'll show you what else we're working on today. And so, just finishing along here. Uh, bail and wire, oh, yeah, I got a little owie. Oh, well, I got a first aid kit. Um, just stitch it along the way and so about halfway so far but that's nice that really secures the inside uh, this fence took a gunshot wound uh, we'll see see if she's gonna make it and well aside from the real chain and lock this project is done uh, I had a bunch of pre-cut baling wire so whatever next time I gotta cut it uh, is that procrastination? I don't know what that is. Robin from Peter to pay Paul. But in the end, I still got to cut bail and wire. But, so this is pretty secure. Travels nice. I was surprised. Uh, it really travels like fine over here. I had to move a couple of rocks. Uh, again, not flush to the pole, flush to the ground. Look at that clearance. What's your clearance, Clarence? All right.